Once again, this is boy Damien coming from the Aquaponic Machine showing off my new toy. This is a uh, aerated compost tea grower. Uh, this is a Vortex style. Uh, what this is do is take the compost that you make and supercharge it basically by aerating it constantly for like a 48 hour period. Uh, it's kind of get the mic microbial activity going a lot faster uh, how it does work is he's got an air pump, I got a small air pump you can see here this little guy that's pumped the air into the air lift this is the air lift section that I got here this is a 2 inch T that the air does come in and then it's got this um, one and a half pipe is go right through, right? Right through to underneath, in the center. The center drain in this can. And the air just lift the water up and through here. And then it's come back here. Swirl into the vortex. So it'll be a constant aeration that's going on. Now, the reason is use the air to pump this air, air to move the water is because uh, the compost will kind of mash up the capellas of a traditional water pump. So you just want an air pump that ain't going to get clogged or anything. Now, what we add in here is uh, molasses and then it will add compost and in a 48 hour period or so the water will get frothy and that's how you know it'll be finished and then you can apply that to your plants for more growth and the reason they're doing this is because I want to save a week in growth uh, to kind of work the business model that I got so I want to do two rows and get 60 pounds of Chinese cabbage every week so I want to do two rows this week two rows next week so that's my aim now. As I say, once you got a program, you could kind of alter it to suit what you what you want. So 60 pounds of Chinese cabbage a week would do me well, right? So that's my aim right now. So as you can see, compost tea bro is working. They got a nice vortex going, and. Yeah, that's the update that I got for today. Also, what we're doing today is um, adding this center support in the kitchen gardens so that uh, the water will kind of go right off rather than the water settling in the plastic and pushing it down. The water will run off and that would allow me to uh, keep the things dry and good. So, that's it for today. Oh, and also, I want to add a water polisher to the system. This is simply the, the netting, the orchid netting that I will use. In the bottom, the water is good in the bottom. Cut through the netting and come out clean. Same thing as the drink carts, but because the netting got finer space, I will take out finer particles out of the water. And then I will use that water in the brewer to give me that extra boost when I uh, apply it to the plants. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like and share the videos and subscribe if you haven't already.